Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today I'm going to talk about a simple way to combine the Ba Zai Feng Shui and the Flying Star Feng Shui. There are many different schools of Feng Shui, and it's not always easy to combine two different schools without conflicting information. In this video, I'm going to combine the Ba Zai Feng Shui, the eight mansions Feng Shui, or the eight houses, and the yearly flying star feng shui chart to find your personal lucky direction of this year. The Ba Zai or the A mentions feng shui is one of the classic Chinese feng shui school. In the Ba Zai feng shui, there are eight different charts. It can be based on your life gua number or based on the house facing direction. And here we're going to look at your life gua number. The life gua number is based on your birth year, and it's different for male and female. And the beginning of the year is the Li Chun Day, the start of spring, based on the 24 solar turns. And that day is usually around February 4th or 5th in the Western calendar. So if your birthday is in January, it belongs to the previous year's life gua number. And here I have a chart. You can see it has number one to nine, but without number five. So you have eight different charts. You can also find your life gua number online using some online free calculators or check the traditional calendar to find your life gua number. Here is an example of the life gua number three in the eight mentions feng shui. If your life gua is number three, that's the zheng gua, that's based on the ba gua, the eight trigrams, and you belong to the east group. In the eight mentions feng shui, you either belong to east group or west group, and the east group share the same four lucky directions and uh, four unlucky directions, and all West group share the four lucky directions and four unlucky directions. So this is an example of the number three life gua number. And the four lucky directions include South, Southeast, East, and North. And the stars in these directions will be different but all the East group share those four lucky directions. Next, we are going to look at the flying star feng shui. We talk about flying star a lot, and usually most people are interested in the yearly flying star because it changes every year, so it's more powerful and you can see the result faster if you set up feng shui this way. And in 2023, here is a yearly star chart for the year of rabbit. And we are looking for the three auspicious stars, number one, six, and eight. And this year, they are in the southwest, west, and the south. So we know the three lucky directions based on these three stars. And we will combine with the uh, eight mentions feng shui to find your best direction. So we are going to go over the eight charts quickly. If your life gua number is number one, the Kan Gua, and uh, combining with the flying star chart of 2023, the south, southwest, and west, you can see the south, we have longevity star from the eight mentions chart, and it's also a lucky direction based on the yearly flying star chart. So south is your lucky direction this year in 2023, if your life gua is number one. If your life gua is number two, you can see from this chart, the overlay of the flying star chart and the ba zai chart. The southwest is your stability, and the west is your heavenly doctor direction. So those two are very auspicious for you in 2023. For life gua number three, 
the best direction is south. You have a life generating star. For life gua number four, your best direction is also south. You have a heavenly doctor star. This star is related to health and happy relationships. For star number six, the best directions include southwest and west. We have the longevity star and the life generating star. Those are your two lucky directions this year. For life goal number seven, your lucky directions include southwest and west. You have the heavenly doctor direction in the southwest and the stability direction in the west. Those are your personal lucky directions this year. The next one is life goal number eight. Your best directions are southwest and the west. That's the life generating star and the longevity star. The last chart is for life goal number nine. The best direction for you this year is south. You have the stability star in the south. Now we find out the lucky directions by combining the life gua number and the flying star chart. We know this will be a good direction to set up important space. Maybe your bedroom or your office, your desk or entrance or living room. And another way is to add some enhancers. And one of the most popular and powerful one is to add crystals. You can add natural clear quartz crystals in this direction. It will raise the qi even more and uh, increase the positive energy. So for the crystals, first it has to be natural and try to pick a bigger size or taller column and set it up in this direction. That's a very easy way to increase your luck and bring in better energy. We know there are many different charts for the flying star. You can combine with different flying star charts too, such as a period eight flying star chart. The period eight chart lasts for 20 years and 2023 is the last year. Starting in 2024, we will have a period 9 chart. And since this is the last year, I feel the yearly chart is more powerful than the period 8 chart. If you want to use a period 8 chart, the three auspicious stars are west, center, and the east. And again, you can overlay on your life gua chart and find the auspicious combinations. So this is an easy way to find your personal feng shui auspicious directions by combining the life gua chart based on your birth year and the current flying star chart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you next time.